Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM station. Today, I'm going to show you how to design a simple mechanical component by using Annex 12. This tutorial is very important and very informative because today in this video tutorial, I'm going to cover very important commands of Annex 12, which is the one is the first one is the um, revolving command and the second one is uh, creating a new datum plane at an angle on an object so uh, this tutorial is for those who are seeking information about CAD CAM and are on beginners level and if you are a beginner then you are in the right place so make sure you watch this video till the end also subscribe like share and comment to keep me motivated so without wasting any time let's get started so as you can see on your screen we have a sample uh, model or a 2d drawing of an object so we are going to use this uh, as a template and all the dimensions are in millimeters so make sure you just use the millimeter uh, template from the new file so before starting this you have to click on new and after click on new under the model template rollout select the model and make sure you are on uh, your units are on millimeters so select this and you can enter the name of your model so you can enter the name revolve revolve uh, test whatever the name you want to give so you can save it to some other folder where you want to save it just like annex modeling like here this is the folder where i want to save the model and click ok so once you're on the inside of annex 12 so you have to first thing that you need to do is to select your datum plane for doing this again go to sketch and select the datum plane whatever you want to select so select it it is purely up to you I'm gonna select this one just my thing I'm gonna select it and then click OK so for doing this you have to click L on your keyboard to activate the line command start from its origin you can do this just uh, draw the profile of the um, sketch from the side view you can see it clearly just and after that we will start giving dimension once we are completing uh, creating the profile so the profile is going to be look like something this just follow the profile you don't have to worry about the dimensions for now because we are going to give the dimension afterwards so for the last time this one and this something like this so you can uh, enter your values over here as you can see on your screen the dimensions are visible but uh, for hiding those dimensions you can click ctrl plus w on your keyboard and under the PMI objects you can click negative sign to hide the dimensions so uh, one more thing before proceeding into this tutorial if you are uh, not aware of my first video uh, about creating sketch where I have created a mechanical bracket so make sure you watch that video first it will be more useful for you because I have uh, use lots of uh, commands with shortcuts in that tutorial so click on the i button to watch that video so I just forgot that to mention it so now uh, hit D on your keyboard to activate the dimensions small dimension or uh, I'm gonna click on this coordinate to the center and uh, give it a dimension as you can see it is 52 millimeter of diameter I'm gonna enter 52 divided by 2 to give it half of the value then the height so from here select this one double click on it and enter the height equals to 20 millimeter 
like this and exit now again enter d on your keyboard give the dimension from its center which is uh, from the top view you can see it is 61 millimeter so enter 61 divided by 2 and uh, again give the dimension vertical dimension equals to 3 millimeter like this the outer or the major diameter is as you can see it's just 124 divided by 2 like this and uh, the topmost diameter is 88 millimeter of diameter so make sure you do as it is as i am doing it so 88 half is 44 if you know the mathematics more than me then you can do this okay so one last thing a few more things that you can enter the height of this step is two millimeter so basically we are creating uh, the outer profile so that we can uh, revolve this profile along the vertical axis so again few more steps or it is a 50 millimeter so enter 25 half of the original dimension now as you can see we are uh, just completing the the height is now the main concern here so the overall height and the d the top and bottom line and select it and enter the height 38 millimeter as you can see here now so this is uh this is nine millimeter make sure you enter all the values given to uh, make it fix because there is no other way you can figure it out that the dimensions or the sketch is fully defined or not you have to uh, select and drag it to see that if it is uh, fully um, constrained or fully defined or not so as you can see it is not fully defined but we are going to uh, create or trim it because we are going to create a inner bore profile here which is uh, going to be uh, uh, as you can see on your screen it is a 39 millimeter of bore so hit L on your keyboard draw the vertical line hit T on your keyboard to activate the trim command trim out the lines which you don't need like this you don't worry about that all the dimensions are as it is only this bore is moveable so in order to make it fix you can double click on the default dimension to activate it and enter 39 divided by 2 like this and close now as you can see the dimensions are covering up all the screen so it is very difficult to figure it out that what the profile is so hit ctrl plus w on your keyboard and under the pmi object select negative to hide the dimensions now you can see that we have successfully created the uh, profile which is ready to revolve around the vertical axis so how are we gonna um, use this profile and use the revolve command so in order to do that you can hit on your computer control plus q to exit the sketch mode or you can simply click the finish uh, when it is visible over here when you have activated you can double click on it whenever you want to click on it so you can double click on it to activate it again to enter into the edit mode and here is the finish you can click here or you can click ctrl plus w to exit or finish the sketch now uh, in order to uh, revolve your profile you can see under the feature group there is a extrude a little down uh, facing arrow you can click on it and you will find there is a revolve option available once you click on it it will ask you to select the profile on the first uh, step so you can select the profile like this 
and now they are asking you to specify the vector specify the point all you have to do is to specify the uh, vector so here is the z-axis vertical upward or you can select whatever uh, the uh, axis if the orientation of the sketch is on the other side but we need to uh, create a circular uh, or we want to revolve this feature around the z-axis so I'm gonna select the z-axis vertical so click on it it will take its time and now you can see we have successfully created the revolve feature as easy as that so now is the time to create a datum plane at an angle of 45 degree as you can see on your uh, screen that we have a little uh, uh, feature at an angle of 45 degrees and if you need to create that feature how are you gonna do that for doing this actually this is very easy we have all the given uh, information on your screen that the let me just show you that you can just select the sketch and select the plane like this the center middle plane let me show you from the top is this is the plane which I am going to use click OK now we are on the front facing mode now select the line or hit L on your keyboard draw the line I'm really sorry about that select the line just draw the line as you can see there are some information given to you here so you can double click on that angle and uh, enter your angle of 45 degrees now this is the as you can see as uh, the highlighting end of this line is our main concern so we have to position this um, end point of this line at the point where we're gonna start our extruded feature at an angle of 45 so for doing this creating a datum at an angle of 45 we have some few information or we have to fix this by adding dimension we have we have to create a smart dimension hit D on your keyboard select this point and the bottom edge of this profile let me just zoom in this is the profile I need to select let me just do it again sometimes so this is the point which is required actually like this so from here the height is going to be 15 millimeter as you can see on your screen and now we have to uh, enter the dimension from the center of this coordinate and this end is going to be 58 millimeter now you can exit now we have fully uh, defined the point where we're gonna start our datum plane so in order to do that you have to exit the sketch by entering ctrl plus q or you can simply enter q on your keyboard to exit the or finish this sketch now there you can see the datum plane lots of options available you can simply click on datum plane on the next video uh, window you can see a little drop down arrow there are lots of options of label if you are not uh, by default it is not selected point and direction you can select it under the point you can select the point of that line you can change the direction then you can click OK now we have a new datum plane ready to create our new feature at an angle of 45 degrees so again you can now just click on sketch select the plane at an angle and click OK rotate it like this no matter if it is uh, facing towards you or not you can just work select the circle start from its origin enter the diameter 10 millimeter as you can see it is 10 millimeter now we can extrude it so in enter X on your keyboard and uh, here under the end condition select until next and 
Under the Boolean operation, select Unite and click OK. This is it. So now we have to create a bore or little uh, drill size diameter. 3 millimeter of diameter. Start from its origin, enter 3. Now rotate a little bit. Enter X on your keyboard. Change the direction of extrusion. Under the end value, select until next. Under the Boolean operation, select subtract and click OK. So, as you can see, this is how we can uh, create a revolved feature. Basically, uh, what we have learned from today's video that uh, let me just change a little view over here for creating this uh, revolve feature we have to uh, create uh, what we have just created here a profile uh, outer profile which is going to be followed to create the revolve feature around the vertical axis and uh, after that we have created a line uh, on which we have uh, created a uh, a uh, datum plane at an angle of 45 degree and then used that uh, datum plane and just created the extrude and extrude cut feature to make the final output so uh, this is it guys i hope at least you get something useful from this tutorial and if you want more then make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest update from my side so you are watching CatCam Station signing out for now.